Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video we're going to talk about HD televisions and if you're going to buy a new HD television, now there are a lot of types of high definition televisions and big sizes that we can get uh, but there are a lot of confusing terms and I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys which one is better 4K, 4K, HDR, uh, smart televisions, also we have uh, Dolby Vision and stuff so we'll talk about that and I'll give you a brief info and the most basic uh, televisions that you will get right now in the market is uh, with 1080p panel these are the most common ones we are still getting some hd ready uh, televisions in india but just don't buy that because they are just basically 720p uh, panels and manufacturers are just dumping that so minimum that you have to look uh, today is 1080p panels and i feel as of now 1080p panels are pretty good because most of the content that you have is still 1080p and particularly in india still uh, we don't have uh, all sources that are 1080p still most of the television channels and stuff are transmitted at uh, 480p that's standard television yes we have hd channels with tata sky and stuff uh, but still i would say so if your budget is not that high i would say you can look at a 1080p panel but just don't look at hd ready that's just a 720p panel we have televisions that are known as smart tv and we get the smart tv in a variety of uh, variants for example I, I i generally prefer i would say if a television is an android television uh, then it has that google's uh, android tv on that and that's really good because it, it has a lot of uh, functionality uh, like chromecast is sort of functionality is built in and it offers a lot but again there are a lot of other vendors also for example samsung has their own uh, layer of smart uh, tv lg has their own layer uh, so basically what it does is it, it, it can you can browse uh, what do you say stuff on the television uh, you can uh, m many of the te televisions you they also have an android or ios app and using that you can control and give input via that and uh, uh, apart from that all uh, so most of the smart televisions you can plug in your pen drives or hard drives and play content and if it's a smart television it will also have internet connectivity for example via wi-fi and ethernet port and it can pull in uh, what do you say content from the net if you have fast connection again make sure you have fast connection if you want to stream content for example uh, you can stream content from netflix uh, youtube and stuff uh, that's smart television and smart television good thing is that in india also uh, most of the smart television TVs are uh, affordable so again you have to look but again not every smart TV is Android TV it's a little bit different for example recently I reviewed the uh, Leco LED TV 65 inch 4k television though it was running on Android it's not Android uh, TV they are using their own layer so you have to be aware of uh, that again smart TVs uh, most of the uh, TVs are smart TVs, but they are a little bit different. For example, you have to check what types of file formats they will support. Uh, and for example, do they allow installation of apps and stuff? So you have to check that. Next thing is regarding resolution. As I have told earlier also, the most common these days is 1080p and it's good enough. But again, uh, the good thing is that now in 2016, 4K televisions are also getting uh, quite affordable. That was not the case last year. And uh, if not the premium brand, still if you go with the Sony's or the LG's or the Samsung's, you have to still pay a huge premium for the 4K. But again, if you're going for budget brands like TCL, uh, Leco, uh, Vizio, etc., you can get the 4K uh, televisions for uh, around uh, uh, what do you say quite affordable they have begun but the thing is that uh, you have to realize that 4K is four times the resolution of 1080p and these days we don't have a lot of native 4k content so what the tv will essentially do is that let's say if you have a 1080p content this it is this much i'm just giving a very, very rough example it has to scale it four times to fill in the picture so they have to scale it uh, four times for it to uh, uh, be visible on the 4k television and all 4k televisions have the scaler uh, in my experience, for example, uh, uh, be using the LE uh, TV, that's the 65 inch one, I would say uh, 720p uh, content also scales pretty uh, good to 4K. I'm mostly using it with 1080p, but below that, if you use, for example, regular 480p content and stuff, it starts to uh, look very soft. So again, the thing is that if you uh, are opting for a 4K television, uh, don't magically uh, think that your low resolution content will look great. In fact, it will look worse. This is a simple fact. And to get the best effect, I would say stick with at least 1080p content on a 4K television and best is 4K, uh, what do you say, sources. But the thing is that right now, at least in India, uh, 4K uh, sources are very limited. 
yes, Tata Sky has that 4K set-top box, but again, the content is very limited on that. Only some sports stuff when it's broadcasted is in 4K, but rest is still 1080p. Uh, so the thing is that uh, f even though if you have 4K content, you might be using 1080p uh, content. That's a reality right, right now. And I don't think so. This is going to change in the next uh, at least three, four years. Most of the content would be about 1080p yes with uh, YouTube uh, for example the current version of the Chromecast also the Chromecast 2 is still 1080p but uh, I've heard very strong rumors that a new version of Chromecast is going to come out very soon in the next uh, uh, couple of months that will support 4k uh, so to get the best advantage I would say with the 4k television you need need 4k sources uh, but again uh, I would say 1080p scales up pretty nicely on a 4k television but again if you are expecting that your uh, 480p content would look really great on a 4k television that's not true in fact it'll look really worse and look very soft and another one thing is that there were three this 3d televisions and i would say they're sort of dead as of now uh, 3d was a big hype but it flopped like crazy big thing apart from 4k is uh, this new thing known as HDR, that is High Dynamic Range Televisions. Uh, these are 4K HDR televisions, and this is a big deal. Uh, the sad reality is that as of now in 2016, none of the mid-range televisions, etc., on the budget-ranged uh, televisions will support HDR, but it's a very new technology. Uh, it's available on the higher end. For example, LG, Samsung, uh, Sony, etc., have HDR-capable televisions. And in HDR, we have two forms. One is the regular HDR and another is known as Dolby Vision, which is Dolby's own pr proprietary stuff. And uh, so again, two variants. But the thing is that uh, if your television supports Dolby Vision, it will automatically also support the regular HDR. But I don't think so. The Dolby Vision will take on uh, this quickly in the market. Uh, when I was in San Francisco a couple of months ago, I went to Dolby Labs and they gave a demo of the Dolby uh, Vision television. It was great. But for normal consumers, I, I feel the regular HDR would be the most adopted uh, format and we might see the Dolby Vision in only selected uh, what do you say television as of now in India we are not getting any Dolby uh, Vision based television but there are some manufacturers that are manufacturing it like LG, Vizio uh, etc. So again the big thing is that uh, 4K HDR is going to be a big thing and uh, I asked this question to quite a few people for example uh, if you're jumping from a 1080p television to a 4K television you might not see a very huge jump in the visual quality for example that you have seen from a standard definition to a high definition there's a clear cut uh, difference when you see the picture but that's not very evident with 1080p to 4k but again when we uh, look the same uh, what do you say uh, picture or movie in uh, 4k hdr there's a huge difference in the picture quality it's like a massive difference i would say so 4k hdr is a big deal but again the problem is the content for 4k hdr is very limited as of now regular 4k content is also pretty limited so the 4k hdr content is pretty limited and to enjoy 4k hdr content you have to get a ultra hd blu-ray player uh, for example samsung's etc have them they're pretty expensive and again at least in india i could not look at even on amazon.in i could get regular uh, what do you say blu-ray movies uh, some in 4k but none in ultra hd uh, what do you say blu-ray so again uh, ultra hd is there uh, what sorry this 4k hdr is there but again as of now uh, the content is very limited the sources so yeah, I feel uh, the 4K HDR would be the idealistic option if you're going uh, for a new television as of now and, and if you don't have budget constraints. But again, content can be a big issue as of uh, now. For example, it might get popular with the uh, moving forward because now the just announced just two days ago Sony announced the PlayStation 4 Pro which will support actually 4k HDR so yeah if you plan to go for the PlayStation 4 uh, what do you say pro version that will support uh, 4k HDR but again to take advantage of HDR your television also needs to be uh, HDR enabled so uh, again that differentiation between a regular 4k television and a 4k HDR again as of now the 4k HDR televisions are sort of the premium only on the top end uh, we are getting it 
next thing is uh, regarding the best television that you can get again uh, most televisions i would say in the budget range and the mid range will use uh, ips lcd panels but again if budget is not the issue and you want the best picture quality uh, you can look at oled televisions from LG they just look stunning because of the uh, contrast uh, I would say it looks really dynamic so again but again the sad thing is the very very pricey uh, so to sum it up I would say as of now if you're on a tight budget a 1080p panel also looks really great and uh, we are getting very good 1080p panels as of now so you can get very good televisions at a budget price uh, but again if you really want 4k you can go for the same but again uh, the sources for 4k practically as of now in India are very limited yes we have some streaming sources for example Netflix some of the shows are in 4k but trust me guys uh, I have that Leco 4k television that I was testing and uh, generally I don't blow up my bandwidth uh, I watched a couple of hours of uh, very high definition content uh, on that and uh, I've almost like uh, blown up my data caps it generally never happens so again streaming uh, 4k content is a very data resource intensive thing and you need very high uh, bandwidths I would say about 15, 15 to 20 megabit connections to enjoy the same. But again, the good thing is that what I've noticed is that I've checked uh, this Leco 4K television. My friend also has a 4K television and 1080p, good 1080p content scales very well to 4K. But as of now, if you are on a tight budget, I would say even a good 1080p panel would suffice you because realistically speaking, uh, it will take about uh, at least three to four years for 4K content to become mainstream. So I hope this video helps uh, you in um, uh, making up your mind which television is uh, best for you, a 1080p panel, a 4K panel, or a 4K HDR or Dolby Vision on stuff. Again, guys, uh, one thing is uh, to note is that, again, if you're going for these big televisions, uh, like a 65 inch or whatever, a home theater experience, generally the speakers on these TVs, even high-end TVs are just mediocre. And to get that theater effect, I would suggest that invest in a good home theater system like a good AVR receiver. In fact, if you don't know what is an AVR receiver, I already made about a video about AVR receivers a couple of months back. So you can check out that video. I'll have the link for that video in the YouTube show notes. So guys, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.